Hey YouTubers, wanted to shoot a video of the new ICOM 7300 transceiver, HF transceiver. Not yet available, but uh, just announced at Tokyo. And why I am going to buy one of these sight unseen. So, this radio is ICOM's first SDR. It uses or it incorporates a high quality real time spectrum scope. And that is something I have been wanting for years. They come up with rig after rig the 7600, 7700, 7800, and their scopes lag. They are not real time. And it bugs me. This is also an RF direct sampling receiver. This is not no more heterodyne receivers. If you use a super heterodyne receiver, you are using old technology. This is a direct sampling SDR with knobs. I'm going to buy this thing. I'm going to replace my ICOM 7000 with it. Selling the 7000. I may even sell my 756 Pro if this thing fills that void. Um, it's got a huge <coughs> TFT screen. They've really well thought out um, some of the uh, ergonomics of this radio. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Built-in automatic antenna tuner, so no external, you know, LDG thing to deal with. I am just sold with uh, just what I've seen here. So um, I'd like to know what you guys think. Uh, it's really interesting um, what is coming down the pike recently. I think this blows the the Yesus out of the water that they've uh, recently announced, and. Um, It'll be interesting what they come out with next. Probably something um, to replace the 7800. I, we've all seen the 7850, and that's just ridiculous. You know, who's, who's going to spend $20,000 for a radio? But um, in the, you know, 1000 to 3000 range, there's a lot of opportunity in that. And uh, it will be really exciting to see what happens in the next year or so. So uh, I welcome your comments below. What do you guys think? I'm uh, As soon as I get my hands on one of these, which I think will be in Q4 this year, um, I mean, I'll be making tons of videos about it. So uh, hope to show it to you then.